Welcome once again to Microbrands Unscripted. We're going to unpack another microbrand today. And this one is coming from totally new brand. It's no box. So, but I would expect that this um, that this brand would offer their watches in a nice and a well packed box. Well, hopefully that's what I think they would do. Let's see. Ah. Okay. Okay, there's a bunch of tape here. I'm just trying to be really careful not to damage anything. And, uh, okay, I could see some links there already. I could also see the dial. Okay, so <laughs> we unpack the link first. And so you can see the link right there. All right. So it's another integrated bracelet sports watch. Come on, man. Come on. I don't want to damage the actual watch. Here we go. There we are. All right, so that is the brand. You can clearly see on the, that, that, that's a big clasp. That's a big clasp right there. Okay. And of course, let's focus on that. That's another Miyota, Miyota. Uh, caliber. Oh, that's look at that. That's actually a pretty good thinness there. Very nice. I kind of like pick that. And there it is. That's the that's a dial right there. It. I'm kind of torn at the moment. Uh, immediately, actually, uh, the moment that I saw the actual watch and uh, the dial, and um, seeing all the Roman numerals there, uh, the no Roman numerals. And onto itself is not bad. I just feel that it's a little bit too big. And also that branding is a little bit too big for my taste. But look at that new shade. That's actually pretty good. I like that. <laughs> and the color is, there's such a pop of color in this one. Let's try it out in the wrist. Oh, uh, that's almost the size that I have on my wrist. And that lays very flat and thin. It's not the thinnest watch that I've ever worn, but that's actually pretty thin for a Miyota caliber. And you can see the profile of the bracelet there. I think the bracelet is, a, is one of the best features of this watch. But that dial, that dial is something else. So that is the the Sima. The Sima? The Sima. I, and you know, <laughs> in great unboxing tradition, I don't know the exact model of this watch. Maybe at the back, you could see it. Let's see. What does it say? Mm, mm, mm. Ah, there it is. You see? There you go. The SEMA Gatekeeper. The SEMA Gatekeeper. I don't know what they're trying to uh, gatekeep from. It's a gatekeeper. Okay. No screw down crown. The crown is, uh, honestly, the crown doesn't seem, you know, in character. I feel like a different crown would have suited this uh, this profile, but, but, but okay, look at that. Very nice taper. So, as always, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this watch. The interesting comments will make it into the actual video review. I've already commented a bit <laughs> on this um unboxing experience that bezel is also very unique i've never seen a bezel like that i usually see this kind of chamfering on multifaceted vessels like maybe a hexagonal bezel or octagonal bezel but not on a to no shape bezel like that <laughs> many interesting features for this decima great gatekeeper <laughs> decima decima the SEMA Gatekeeper. Again, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think.